Okay, day two of the coronavirus. Stay home, work home, shelter in place, don't go out. So it's uh, 9.48, March 24th, 2000. Okay, so I changed my office as you can see. So this is my, this is my living room. It's not a living room, so I took my 40 inch solar panel box here and put it across. I have my personal laptop. I have my company laptop. I have my cell phone holder, like I told you before. I have my little gadgets in case I get a power outage here. And uh, let me just show you if I shut off the light. Let's get some light on. So this is what it'd be like if there was a power outage with my little lights. Not bad, huh? And these are my other babies that I make. Let's get some light back on. Okay. Shut this one off. So this is it. No easy day. So these are my things that I build, right? You saw these before. These are peanut butter jar. And I put these little IDs in there with a with battery. So this is it. This is my setup now. Chair. Sit down like this. Hello, good morning, buddy. So this is it. So this gives me just a little bit more room to breathe. And uh, that's it. So day two of uh, being home. So what is that like? <laughs> I don't know. I'm in my pajama pants <laughs> and a sweatshirt. You may do that. <laughs> so uh, this is it. This is my little setup. Uh, so you see, you could take any corner in your house, put a piece of cardboard down. And that's bing bang, you got your office, huh? Not bad. So my new logo is no easy day. Okay, so let's talk about what's going on. The president wants everybody to go back to work. I don't know if that's a good idea, but we'll see how that works out. Uh, I had to call a client and help him get off a of voicemail and get back onto ringing phones because I think it's a medical office and I think they're working there. And that's the story. Uh, I have to go out later uh, to back to Cape Food. I want to try to get a couple of the things because it was all shelves empty yesterday. So uh, when you get old, just think you'll be sitting in a chair like me, like an old guy telling your kids, wow, in 2000, it was in January when it started in China, and then it hit the United States, and guess what? We were the epicenter. We are ground zero. We have the most viruses, and look, your daddy made it. Your mommy made it. <laughs> That's what you'll be telling your kids. You'll be old in a rocking chair going back and forth. <laughs> Just kidding. I just want to give you a little humor. So uh, remember, be positive, have good energy, breathe. <sighs> Don't get excited. Don't panic. You know, you can go out, take a little walk, get back, and then run back in the house. Uh, you can walk your dog, get back in the house. You can go food shopping, get back in the house. You can watch TV. You can watch Netflix, and that's the story. So, I kind of like this better. I mean, I have a little bit more room, and uh, that's it. I hope you enjoyed this uh, day two of being quarantined. You know, this is not like, I don't know if you saw those YouTube videos where uh, they were bringing the people from China back to Britain and they put them in these nice places and they had a mask and they would check their temperature every every hour and then there would be a knock on the door like this and then when you open the door there will be 
there will be food delivered to you. There will be clothes delivered to you. You would have potato chips. You would have everything. You don't even have to go out. But that's not like that. We're all on our own. You, you, whatever you have at home, you gotta cook it and eat it, and or go to the store and see if they have what you want. And that's it. It's a different time in the world, and uh, just take it easy, relax, and enjoy my crazy videos. Okay. Everybody, be safe. Have a good day. We're all in this together. Keep washing your hands. Keep washing your hands. Wash your hands, wash your hands, wash your hands. Goodbye.